Uh, let's bring in House Majority Whip Steve Scalise. Uh, he joins us right now. Hey, uh, Mr. Scalise, what do you make of what we're seeing with this wave of packages addressed to these Democrats and uh, prominent critics of the president's being delivered all across the country? Well, good morning. Uh, th this is very disturbing what you're seeing. Uh, I, I'm very uh, fully supportive of law enforcement and confident that they're going to find out who exactly did this and, and they're going to figure this out. And that person should be brought to justice and it should be swift. Uh, but for now, it's a time for us to make sure that we're calming down the rhetoric and, and not pointing fingers at people. My goodness, we should all be focused mm -hmm. on encouraging law enforcement, giving them all the tools they need to go and find out who's doing this. So as somebody who almost bled to death when you were shot by a Bernie Sanders supporter at second base when you were just trying to practice uh, for a softball game, what do you want everyone to know and what do you hope that happens over the next 24 or 48 hours as we go on a massive hunt to find out who's responsible? What's going to be your focus, Steve? Main focus is to make it clear that there's no place for this in American politics. You know, this is how things go in third world nations where uh, people think that they can go and threaten and bully and, and intimidate and terrorize people based on their political views. Uh, that's not what our country is about. It's not who we're going to be about. Uh, so ultimately, law enforcement is going to figure out who did this, and we're going to move on as a country, but, um, you know, there's no place for it. Right after this happened, right after uh, these suspicious packages started to, to be, we started to determine they were all being sent to these Democrats, um, people were on network shows blaming the president for this. John Brennan is even responding to the president's tweet this morning saying, stop blaming others, look in the mirror, blaming him for his inflammatory uh, rhetoric and insults and lies, encouraging people to, to get violent. We've had Democrats that have encouraged people to be violent, get in the face, or it seems like they were encouraging violence. Um, when you hear both sides having these arguments, what goes through your mind? Because you were, you were targeted because you're a Republican. Today, the story's a little different in the fact that Democrats are being targeted, but is your message enough is enough? It is, and, and look, I mean, the, the idea that somebody can uh, use this and try to go and, and have a press conference and blame somebody else that has nothing to do with it when they don't even know the facts, well, this isn't the time to be pointing fingers. You know, we all ought to calm it down a little. You know, everybody's rhetoric should be, uh, you know, fo focused on the idea that we have a great nation where we can disagree with each other, but you don't make it personal, you don't resort to attacks. If you're threatening somebody else, you've pretty much lost the argument already. Uh, focus on going and winning the debate. If you have better ideas, show your ideas. We're going to have an election in 12 days that is going to ultimately settle all of our political differences, and that's how we settle them in America, at the ballot box, I not through violence. I was wondering, Steve, did you ever blame Bernie Sanders uh, for you being shot? No. So why, you, why do you think everyone seems intent on blaming the president? You know, these are people that have, have hated everything the president stood for. I mean, Donald Trump ran uh, somebody laying out a very specific agenda for this country to make America great again, and he's doing it. I mean, all the things that he's done as president uh, have been the things that he promised, and it's working. Uh, you know, we should be celebrating the fact that our economy is doing so well, uh, that we're finally changing the direction of our country and getting things back on track. And if somebody's got a better idea uh, or better set of ideas, let them go lay that out. But they don't have an agenda. They just uh, want to make this about personality and they're against somebody. That's not what's going to win this election. I've been getting all around the country. People, first of all, they like the economic growth that, that we're having. Uh, they don't like the tone of politics when they see people threatening cabinet secretaries and saying, run people out of restaurants based on their political views. That's not who America is. And that's not going to win them the House or the Senate or whatever they're also trying to accomplish this election cycle. It's going to be a battle for ideas. I think we have better ideas. And what we're doing, working with President mm -hmm. Trump, is actually working for the families who have been forgotten for so long. Uh, they're glad somebody's finally standing up for them. Has this changed the way that you uh, live your life when you go to the post, I mean, you go to your mailbox or when you're even practicing for baseball? I mean, you can't let it change the way uh, you live your life. Uh, if, if you do, then they win. Uh, so ultimately, we've got to continue to go on with our life, be more vigilant. Uh, you know, people have been really good over over the years, especially since September 11th, uh, that if they see something suspicious, they report it. Right. And, and that's why you're seeing so many of these uh, latest uh, packages being reported. People always need to be vigilant in America because there are people who hate us for who we are and what our values are. Uh, it's what makes our country great is that we have these great values. There are people that want to come to our country to be a part of the American dream. There are people that want to come to our country to do us harm. 
and we've got to be aware of both. Yeah, uh, Mr. Scalise, one of the things that doesn't add up to some of the analysts we've had on the air is uh, everybody knows that members of Congress, former presidents, prominent uh, Democrats and Americans don't necessarily open their own mail. They go to a containment facility. I mean, every, every piece of mail you get at Congress uh, is opened off-site, oftentimes in other states. Uh, so if they were trying to, you know, blow up the person, yeah, exactly, blow up the person that uh, it was addressed to, that person doesn't open the envelope. Yeah, who knows what the real motivation is, what they're really uh, trying to accomplish. Uh, but ultimately, uh, what I'm confident of is that they're going to get caught. And when they get caught, we'll know a lot more. Yeah. Uh, right now, nobody knows anything about who's behind this. And so for them to try to give some kind of commentary about uh, who's responsible for it when they don't even know who's responsible for it or trying to s assign blame to somebody. Uh, that, that's the kind of politics that people really dis are disgusted by. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't a time for that. It's a time for unifying. Let's not change what's great about America. We have confidence in law enforcement. We're going to figure out who did this, right. and we're going to continue to move forward as the greatest country in the world. Yeah, you're, you're, the attack on you should have been the wake-up call. Obviously, it wasn't. Uh, uh, thanks so much, Steve Scalise. Appreciate it. Thank you. Always great to be with you.